Hello, I'm Scott, the Breathing Guy. I'll train you to locate, generate, activate core key energy in physical activity. This video series is the Qigong approach. This is the lower body development. You can look at line of how other Qigong masters and coordinate with what I'm saying. My big uh, aspect is the breath, how to activate your breath, how you shape your breath, uh, body to maximize your breath range, ability, strength, energy, all that air. All health should begin with the breath, how you breathe. All the other foods, items are nice, it keeps everything working, but without the breath, you will have diminishing energy effect from all those products involved. That's my statement. Now, the next part, this is part two. This is lower body action and I want you to position the feet so your hips. Part one was about the feet itself and position why and explaining. Health and expression comes from your breath. Breath is your spirit. It's what you do, what you used to shape yourself within this world. What you say, uh, creates your attitude, what you project is all about the breath. No bre low breath, low energy, low emotions. In fact, so understanding the value of the breath, if you want to change, anyone can modify any emotional expression they want or feeling. That's, that's not without changing the breath. But when you truly want to alter, change it, mod, really amplify a modification, not get rid of it, but really mod, make it more positive, go to your breath as a beginning. Because to have great breath is to reshape the body. That's the torso area itself, then engaging it differently and coming more stronger as an expression within the breath activity of exhale. Now, this one I'm going to deal with is feet apart. How? Remember I said the hips have to be tilted slightly forward so you can activate the lower chair. If you have an arch or too far forward, you cannot move this area. So begin here. So you center it, neutral, Pilates neutral is a good term. And how do you know you have it right? Is that when you push your belly button out, this area down here can move forward. When you pull your belly button in, it can go back in, can be pulled in. Now, when you're first starting out, depends on your age, but most people are weak down here. They're pretty strong here, but I've seen actually people work with weights and everything, they're very strong here, but down here, they're soft because they don't engage it. And there's a whole process of engaging the, from the belly button down. Yeah, this whole area here. Basically from the belly button to your perineum, to be technical. But how you engage that area shift, sets up the hips, sets up expression, movement involved. So understanding, we're trying to develop a new sense, a new experience. I just don't want you to do this. I want you to experience your Qigong influence. You have to direct it so you can use it, creating experiences that affect your health, your well-being and expression, just enjoyment of life, because life is best based on breath. You begin on an inhale, you will exit on an exhale. That, so how you extend, there's an old say, I, saying uh, in Hindu, they say, extend your breath, extend your life. I never say that, I, I, it didn't fit me. I say, extend your breath and, uh, and work with your breath, extend your emotional expressions in life, enjoyment of life itself. But as your breath goes down, your activities really go down and diminish, and your acti you know, the whole view of life diminishes. But the more you have breath and how you use it, makes a real difference. Now, this next step is putting your feet apart. There's several ways. First off, you gotta tip your head slightly forward, and you're gonna inhale, and then move your knee out like this so your hips can be out, and you can rotate around like this, and then you drop down. That dropping down is the hard part, because you don't want an arch. You want your hips slightly involved, and you wanna let go. It's the first thing you have to do is release this area. When I say release, don't try to hold up. Feel your feet. The more you feel your feet 
your weight on your feet, the more you released up here. The more less you feel your weight on your feet, the tighter you're up in this area here, and your hips, legs, and the idea. Two, by doing this, the first time I did it, I'll tell you, my thighs burn after a minute. They will burn. But the more you breathe, now how do you release it? Inhale, as you're exhaling, soften shoulders. Release, and you blow out your mouth in the beginning. There's two ways to exhale, out the nose and the mouth. You only inhale through the nose. So that's inhale, and blow out. Soften your shoulders, and you can relax the hips. Inhale, pull your toes up a little bit on the exhale, pause. Move, release, move energy with the exhale on this program. So here, two, see my feet are pointing straight. Now on your knees, they're so, uh, just make sure they go over the toes. Don't let them go like this, let them go over. So you're opening up this. That permits you to breathe more through here. Then if you're like this, it limits your movement. You can test it on range of motion. Think of movement range. When you're out like this, you can go. So if you want to go a little farther out, make sure your knees are like this. A lot of people do this. That's fine. It doesn't, it's not the dynamic form I want. I'm not saying it's wrong. It depends on purpose. The way I'm showing this, what I want in my purpose is to have you have the greatest breathing range. Doing that will affect other things for other purposes. So having a purpose for your body, if you want to say shaping your body for your breath, is the name here. And this is to give you a Qigong experience of energy flow, ability to direct your energy to affect your whole expression of health. Realize your health. Realize when you're not healthy even. But it gives you something to start focusing on as on the breath for greater health. I, and basically, the more you breathe, the more you can't think. Remember, I said, realize, I'm going to repeat this over. The more you think, the less you feel. The more you feel, the less you think. The more you feel your breath range, the more you're connected to your body and mind as an expression of whatever expression you want to uh, do in life. With people, by yourself, watching, uh, doing some activity, interacting with people. Having calmness comes by having a calm breath, an even flow. And if you can exhale for 20 seconds in walking or that's a good starting point. When you can exhale for one minute and have a, and not strain, not be totally calm, and then pause for five seconds or longer, then you know your mind and body are connected with your uh, breath and the breath, and then you create another experience. There's more, a lot more, but that's another state. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to start any Qigong movement is basically tip your hips, inhale a little bit, come out, and then come around, and then slowly drop down and soften. Don't try, you cannot fall. Don't, and the more, you need to soften your shoulders. To drop, these shoulders have to be softer. The softer you make that, the more movement you can do. The tighter the shoulders, the more restrictive of all movements you have. The other area I teach is in the uh, golf swing. If you got tight shoulders, it really limits your swing. If you try to swing with your shoulders, it limits range of motion, really uh, disconnects you from your body's force going into your club head. So really understanding the importance of learning this sensation, having this sensation, it's an experience. So it's basically, then when you inhale, inhale, push belly up, go back on your feet, uh, go forward, exhale, go on your heel. Always go on the outside, so you can actually, take, if you want to exaggerate, you go like, rotate around, you want to exaggerate a little bit. And then in the reflexology point of view, when you go on your outside like that, you're affecting your spine, you're stimulating the spine. That's the beauty of that, going around. Two, natural walking, you're going on the outside of your foot for your ankle. So you're training that area, you're strengthening that area. On the wall. And you should push off, use your toes to, to, to walk. Most people don't do that much toe activity. But Qigong, uh, Tai Chi, a lot of toe activities involved in the force they generate. So understanding the lower body there. So it's like, 
uh, exhale. This is just basic, it's more advanced. I, can, I just want to keep the door open. Just say there's so much you can get engaged. It's a whole art in itself for a purpose. And uh, there's many Qigong forms and each one has their own, especially of what it's supposed to do for health or for strength. You go on uh, YouTube and type in Iron Shirt Qigong and I think it was National Geographic. It might had an image uh, talking about fighting arts and what this uh, one guy, uh, person developed his Iron Qigong ability to a really high level. You wouldn't believe it. It surpassed the test. But anything they can do, you can do. But don't, why do you want to push yourself that hard? It's hard. But this like this, just like this, drop, drop shoulders. The more softer you're down here, the more shoulder, the more shoulder drops. So there's a real interaction between here and here, and you want to get into it. So when you move this way, when you're really soft, your shoulder blades will be more fluid. Your range of motion will be more fluid. You can do a lot more in movement, side to side involved. But you gotta release the shoulders. And if the more you bring from here down to here as their focus center, your mind sensing awareness goes from here, of here down to here. This is like everything goes up and down from this point. This is the foundation of all movement in this area. Look at it that way. I contend it's the foundation of all movement. Not your feet, it's your pelvis. How your pelvis is shaped sets up all movement range of abilities involved. So if your pelvis is t tilted this way, contorted, you, uh, it really affects a lot of the muscles abilities to be activated in any physical mo motion from tennis or normal walking or getting out of a chair even. I'll even get into that. But learning to use the breath, the core breath, how to use your core coordinated with the breath during movement. That will give you a lot more range of possibilities in your life. That promotes health. And that promotes everything you want in movement in life. And that's what the Qigong is about, to keep you toned, keep your energy flowing, stimulate the organs in place. Involved because the more you breathe and pull move this area here, the more energy can be generated from your organs. Where do you think all your energy comes from? That's when you eat sugar or some other items, you don't feel you don't feel strong anymore because it affects your organs. Organs produce the energy our whole nervous system uses. Everything comes from down here, intestines, all this area. When the intestines go bad and part of moving it down here, it moves this area down here where your intestines. It helps keep it stable helps keep movement. It's when you lose movement, you have atrophy. And that's, you don't want to deal with. You can minimize, you're always gonna have some degree of atrophy, atrophy, atrophy in life. But trying to keep it to a minute, and Qigong does that. Qigong tries. And when you can't do something, you'll be aware of what you can't do. That's the beauty. So knowing what you can do, and knowing what you're no longer capable of doing. It's like when your baby, you watch a baby, they can do all this other stuff. By 50, you can't even meet, uh, do a third of what they were able to do as a baby. But then again, how you train yourself, how you use, and the breath is the key part of all health development. Is it? So this is B, this is the lower body. This is the second part, how to bring here, how to do it, and rock back and forth and have your knees. So notice this area here is straight up and down and have a part. You can go far. The more you go by like this and go down, it's more open this area up here. The more you can breathe through here, but don't do this. It limits this area and for breath. That's the key element. That's why I advocate this because we're working on the breath. This is core breathing, amplification, directing, strengthening, toning, uh, having the mind come aware of what this is doing and coordinating it and experiencing the different manifestation effects that it is purely yours, that you're creating through your core breathing, through your life, through your body, through all your senses. It amplifies the senses. That's the key. And uh, you feel the whole body, not just the shoulders. We'll deal with stress in another class.